What's up planner babes? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with a November haul. I've recently went to Michael's and found a couple of things that I was looking for for some upcoming projects and a gift for someone very special to me. So I thought that I would come on and show you what I picked up from Michaels. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome. I do hope you find some inspiration here and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss any videos I have coming up for you in the next few weeks. If you're already a part of the fam, welcome back. Now normally my hauls take a long time but I'm going to do this one super quick because it is a Saturday fall afternoon and I just feel like cuddling up with my warm fuzzy socks on and a blanket and a good movie and some popcorn and take a nap. <laughs> But I want to do this haul for you really quick so you can see what I got on my recent uh, visit to Michael's. So if you want to see what I picked up, just stick around. All right, we're going to do this super, super quick planner, babes, because like I said, I really want to go and um, take a super quick nap and maybe not a quick nap, but I want to take a nap and just kind of rest a little bit. So the first thing I picked up was this Recollections. It's like a dates and holidays book. So it's got lots of date covers and days of the week in it, lots of gold foil. You've got some uh, tabs here, and I've already used a set of this tab, uh, set of these tabs in my Hobonichi weeks. I put it across the top of the pages, and it turned out really cute. So you've got tabs, you've got date numbers, more days of the week. These would be cute to fit on your Hobonichi weeks because they're just little squares that you pull up. That would be good to fit over those dates on the left hand side of the Hobonichi. Very cute. Another set of that. Some more numbers. You can always use numbers, especially if you use a Happy Nietzsche or a Hobonichi. Really any planner if you want to cover it up and make the um, pages match your theme. Oh, there's some more cute um, days of the week. Very cute. These are month stickers. Another set of month stickers at the top. More days of the week in the middle and days of the week here on the side. This is a really practical book to have in your planner um, arsenal. A planner collection. This is cute. This is um, these are flags for different holidays. There's lots of gold foil on here. You've got bill dues. Two pages of that. You've got more hexagon uh, date numbers, days of the week down the side. Great, great, great sticker book. Very useful. Very practical. You've got your weather stickers. Some appointments and must dues along with lots of gold foil, two pages of that, some more weather, <clears throat> your clouds and your umbrellas and your rain boots. You've got some canceled priority, don't forget, should do, reminder stickers and gold foil. Some more of those tabs and here are the ones that I pulled off to use in my Hobonichi weeks. I just couldn't wait. Normally I try to wait till I show it to you but I couldn't wait last night. I stuck them on there. And I also covered them with clear packing tape to make them more uh, sturdy. Okay, so that's a tip for you on how to make these last longer. And here are some flags with gold foil, some little icons that have uh, money symbols, uh, envelopes, trash, water bottles, grocery shopping, and meal planning icons and then some gold alphas in the gold foil. So this is a super cute book. I think this was about six dollars but I'm not sure but it was a good deal for all of these stickers that you get this is a really good deal the next thing I got was a skinny classic planner and this is not for me this is for a friend of mine on my job 
I showed her my Skinny Classic and she really liked it. So Ida, if you're watching, this is for you. I'm gonna bring it to you at work tomorrow. So I'm not gonna do a flip through of this because I've done one on my channel before. I will link a card up above um, with the video where I did an unboxing and a flip through of the Skinny Classic. But it's a super cute layout. If you haven't seen it, it really is very cute. Um, you can still personalize it and make it your own. I'm not going to open this up because this is a gift for somebody, but just um, wanted to let you know that I did get a Skinny Classic. This is a good gift to give to someone too, especially if you use a coupon. <laughs> use a coupon from Michaels and get somebody a cute little starter planner who maybe isn't um, into planning that much or just wants to get started in planning. They don't have a lot of stickers or they want to be able to stick something down in their purse and just take it on the go. This is a cute planner to start with. Okay, so that's the Skinny Classic. And next I bought this Happy Planner um, Classic size for myself and I really just wanted to look at it to see if this is something that I would be able to use. So I'm not sure that I'm going to keep this. I'm going to be very careful with it because if I don't like it, it's going back or I'm going to resell it or something because I just wanted to look at this and see if this was a planner that I could use. I love the cover of this. What I am concerned about, however, is the um, the hourly nature of it. I need to look and see if this is something that I will be able to work with. Now, I do have a Hobonichi Cousin that is hourly, but I have got um, ideas on how to cover those times up and still utilize the planner. But I just want to look at this one and see if it's something that I'll be able to use for the upcoming year. It is vertical, but it's hourly. Okay, so the beginning of this planner says, live fully in the season you're in. This happy planner belongs to, and you put your name there. Now, the reason I love it is because I am a seasonal planner, and I love these seasonal dashboards. So this isn't really a dashboard. This is just a regular piece of paper. And this is your intro page and your name page. And I love this um, the months here listed for you 2020 and 2021 and then you have your perpetual calendar and I've seen a uh, kell of a plan do a video on different ways to use this planner setup so I may be using this for one of those ideas that she she suggested and it goes all the way through to December and then you have your dashboard your um, yeah, your currently page, your dashboard page here, and then you've got the Hello 2020. This is so pretty. It has lots of silver foil on it, and then it goes into your monthly view, and then you have your hourly setup. This is the part that I'm not sure about. I really need to think about whether this is a planner that I am going to be able to use. So if there's a way for me to cover this up, I may do that, but I don't know. So I really wanted to get a good look at it to see if this is something that I could use. So I'm just looking through it now to see what I think about it. And I'm going to give it some thought and I may keep it or I may look on YouTube and see how other planner babes are using their hourly planner and I may make a decision from there. All right, so here's your February dashboard. Here is your February uh, divider page. It says start each day with a grateful heart. I love that. Then March says live in each season as it passes. Breathe the air, drink the drink, taste the fruit. Um, resign yourself to the influence of the earth. That is by Henry David Thoreau. And then for April, you have how lovely is the simple act of growing things. For May, you have this antique camera that says, we don't remember the days, we remember the moments. June says, oh, I love that. The journey is just as important as the destination. And then for July, we have her eyes sparkle because she sees magic everywhere. That is perfect for my birthday month. Love it. Then we have for August, may every sunrise hold more promise and may every sunset hold more peace. That's very pretty. I love the seasonal nature of this planner. That I do love. Um, and then September says, and breathe. Just breathe, okay? Just take it all in. Relax. Oh, this is very pretty. Ooh, October. I love it. It says grateful, thankful, blessed. But the colors are amazing. And the image is amazing. Very pretty. 
All right, November, also gorgeous, says, Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds you plant. That is by Robert Louis Stevenson. And then December says, All is calm, all is bright. How beautiful is that? Beautiful. Okay, so I do love the dividers. Um, and I could do what some other planner babes have done and just use different inserts in here because really what attracted me to it were the dividers and you can always use these and then create your own inserts in the middle i could definitely do that so with that in mind i probably will keep this planner and again i'm just going to look at some videos to see if i can get some ideas on how to use an hourly and that's a good way for you to kind of decide which planner you want to use and also to get some ideas on how to use a planner that you currently have to just go on YouTube and look around because there are lots of planner babes that use different types of planners and have lots of great ideas, okay? All right, next I bought three um, paper pads because three Christmas paper pads because I'm getting ready to do uh, December daily and I also want to create a winter prayer journal. And um, so I bought these three paper pads to see which ones were going to match my um, aesthetic and kind of give me some inspiration for planning. So I'm going to flip through these really quick. These are at Michael's. And there's two of every design. This is probably, of the three, believe it or not, even though I love pink, this is probably my least favorite one. It's very pretty, but it's not my favorite very wintry very nice I love this fur that's very pretty and it has like some sparkly snowflakes or something in it too very cute two of those I love this it says Noel with the fur in the background I love this pink house with the snow coming down all is calm all is bright and pink also very pretty making spirits bright on the pink with the gold sparkle and then you've got this, um, I forgot what this is called, but I love this pattern in pink. Uh, not crazy about the Santa, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I love the fur. I love this pink with the gold foil. The Christmas trees are cute with the pink accents on them. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Very pretty in pink. This is very pretty. And then you have this kind of antique gray. Very nice. Two sheets of that. Then you have the pink poinsettias. And then you have these cut apart strips. And one at the top says, I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas. All is calm, all is bright, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Be Merry. This is a cute page. I love, this is probably my favorite page, the pink with the um, snowflakes. You get two sheets of that. And this is another favorite. Very good. It's like, it's like the outside, like a um, brownstone with um, the snowflakes coming down. This is cute. And then you have this kind of antique, it almost looks like wallpaper, like antique type of wallpaper, old school wallpaper with the pink and gray. I like these bold stripes. And again, there's Santa Claus. And then you have the gold um, leaves with the pink background. And then the pink and gold Christmas ornaments. And, and that's it. Okay, so this is called Sugar and Sparkle. And this is one of the paper pads I bought. This next one is totally, totally me. This is me in a Christmas paper pad right here. <laughs> so beautiful. So, um, it just makes me feel like traditional Christmas vibes. So let's flip through this one really quick. Oh, you know I love anything with some plaid on it. Ooh, I love it. You get two sheets of that. You've got the um, you got the holly. Ooh, I love that. 
and then you've got the words that say peace on earth, Christmas joy, twinkle, silver bells, peace and love, ho, 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 warm and cozy, blessings, holiday cheer, ooh, love, absolutely. Look at this, the evergreen with the snow coming down, ooh, love it. Two sheets of that, and you've got this kind of craft color paper with um, snowflakes on it. And then you have, I love all the patterns in here. They are amazing. You have like the evergreen leaves with um, a light green, a dark green, and then snowflakes in white. Then you have these cut aparts. Perfect for a um, December daily. I mean, perfection. Look at this little truck. Oh, you can't see it. Look at that truck. Oh, so cute. I love it. Then you've got this little Christmas scene. The scene down at the bottom of the page. So pretty. Let me straighten it up. Two pages of that. And you've got the black and white snowflake. Very pretty. You've got this red with the holly berries in the background. I don't know if you can catch that. There they go. Very pretty there. This is my favorite. The black and white buffalo plaid. Yes. Yes. Love it. I'm definitely going to be using that. And then you have your um, evergreen trees. And your diagonal stripes. Looks like kind of like candy cane stripes. And then you have your black with the holly berries. And green love this wood grain with the snowflakes on it. Ooh, and it's actual real um, glitter on here. Ooh, love it. I love the texture. Then you have more plaid. And this is probably my least favorite, but you could still use this for like pockets and background pages. You could still use this. You know, it's not ugly. It's just not one of my favorites. And I adore this. The winter trees. This reminds me of like, I know this is going to sound crazy, <laughs> but this reminds me of Game of Thrones. <laughs> like in the woods where the White Walkers were walking, it just reminds me of that. Like kind of cozy, kind of creepy. I love it. <laughs> then you got more plaid. This is kind of like a very, very deep green and black. Pretty. Then you've got some more red. It's like a cable knit pattern. I might not be able to see it. It's like a sweater pattern on there almost. Probably can't see that. And then you've got the um, Christmas uh, or winter houses. Snow. And then um, a red with a wood grain on it. Probably not catching it, but yeah, there we go. Wood grain in the red. And I think that's, oh no, one more page. Then you've got this uh, kind of antique white with uh, dark, either dark brown or a very dark gray snowflakes. And then green, evergreen trees, repeated. Okay, and that's it, but this one is so traditional Christmas. Like, I love this. Everything about this is just so, Christmas and sweet and holiday cozy love that one and last but not least is this gorgeous oh let me tell you the name of this one first evergreen cabin sorry about that this was called evergreen cabin and then last but not least is the Miss Claus this is adorable absolutely adorable let's look through it real quick all the little planner doll looking girls on there you know i had to grab this don't get your tinsel in a tangle honey don't do it <laughs> then you've got the presents over here in the right hand side and you get two pages of everything you've got the white with the pink christmas trees i love this pink and dark pink polka dot look at this y'all 
look at this. I have to show it to you because I have to roll it up in my screen. Look at these girls. They're too cute. Slay, slay day. <laughs> and then you have your eggnog, please. And your girl pulling along her cart full of Christmas presents. So cute. You have the pink plaid. And then you have this red um, stripe with the um, wreath in the middle. So pretty. Then you have this red and pink and black stripe. Also very pretty. Some more polka dots. This is gorgeous. This girl standing outside a store window looking in at the Christmas display. Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. And you've got the red with the gold foil. Look at that gold foil popping. Then you have this cute girl with her stack of Christmas presents. And you have a girl sitting by the fireplace. She is knocked out. <laughs> Slay list. And she's got all her presents and stuff over there in the fireplace. I love that. You could cut that out. Or you could leave it and make it a um, scrapbook page. Or I'm going to use this for December daily. You've got dots. Very good for background paper. You've got some cut aparts that say, Hello Christmas. Point me to the mistletoe. Naughty and nice. Some more... Um, Places for you to journal down here in these boxes. You've got some wreaths on a white background. Love the green plaid, very pretty. You've got the most wonderful time of the year, black with gold foil. And you've got some cheetah print, very pretty also. And you've got some Christmas trees on a black background. You've got the poinsettias on a black background. You've got some more cut aparts. This one says Seasons Greetings. You've got Joy, Cheers, Mary, a stack of presents. You got the girl again um, slouched over in the chair. She's just worn out from all her shopping. Some more journaling cards. And another beautiful plaid. And one more with the poinsettias on a black background. These were so, so cute. So you will see some of these, well, pr probably all of these coming up in my December daily setup, which I am probably going to start probably mid-November getting everything set up because I really want to be successful with um, December daily this year. I've had some struggles completing it in the past, and I really want to set myself up to succeed with December daily this year. I know this is kind of close up, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, I hope you will take a moment and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss any videos I have coming up for you in the next few weeks. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you all have a great week, Planner Babes. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.